This video covers the geometry creation of an idealized bifurcated blood vessel. We first go in the left hand menu, select geometry, and drag it to the project schematic window. We can then give a name to this geometry. I will call this one geometry without plaque. Let's then right click on geometry and go into its properties. We'll change the analysis type to 2D. We can then close this window. We're now ready to draw geometry, so we double click on geometry. So this opens up the design modeler shown by this green icon. Here we'll select millimeter for the design unit and click OK. We will draw our sketch in the XY plane. So we click on the Z arrow to display the XY plane. And then we'll click on XY plane in the left hand menu. We'll then click on the sketching button. So to make our life easier, we will uh, first zoom so that our first drawing attempt will have approximately the right size. To do this, we can select the zoom tool. And then we can click and drag up or down on the project graphics window. Quick tip, Ansys actually tells you how to use these tools in the bottom left corner. We'll then use the pan tool to move our axis around it right here okay so that should be good we will first draw a crude sketch of our model in the draw menu we'll select the polyline tool starting at the origin where a little rectangle appears to let us know that we are selecting a point or a line we can click around our sketch to draw geometry notice that a V or H appears let us know that we are either making a horizontal or vertical line. If the letter C appears, that means we're connecting to an axis. So a good strategy here is to make your line slightly slanted from what you desire. Um, that will make it later easier to uh, see our refinements. Let's say we make a mistake. Um, we can always go back, so we can right click and select back. This will erase our last line. And uh, this line will have it vertical, and we want it to connect to the axis. At this point, we just want the line to connect to our first point, so we can uh, right click and select closed end. Okay, that was a good first pass, um, but now let's give our sketch proper dimensions and constraints. The order of how we proceed is a matter of choice. I personally like to dimension and constraint my figure back and forth as I go around it. Um, that reduces the risk of over constraining the sketch and having segments cross each other. So to add the dimensions, we click on dimensions in the left hand menu. And uh, to specify the dimension of a line, we can use the general tool. If we want to specify a distance between lines or between a point on a line, we can use the horizontal, the vertical, or the length distance tool. We'll start off with the general tool. We can select our line, then move our mouse a bit, and click again. In the details view window, we can enter um, the length of this edge. In this case, it'll be 8 millimeters. In a similar manner, we define the dimensions of the other sides. To specify the width of the blood vessels, we can use the length distance tool. 
can then select our two lines. And give our dimension. To make uh, these two lines parallel, we can apply a parallel constraint. To do this, we select constraints and choose parallel and select our two lines. We can apply a perpendicular constraint in the same manner. So we'll choose perpendicular right here. Select our two lines. If we want to see the constraints that we've applied, select yes right here and scroll down. And here, for example, we have our parallel constraint. If you ever want to delete a constraint, you can right click and select delete. To insert a dimension for an angle, we select um, angle right here and select our two lines. And give it the proper angle. Here it's 30 degrees. Okay, at this point we can uh, apply constraints and dimensions for the rest of our figure. Okay, this looks good, but it can look even better. There are a few neat tricks we can do here. Um, under dimensions, we can um, click on the down arrow until we see display. Select it and unchecked name and select value. We can also move our dimensions around to uh, uh, make our sketch look better. Here I'll just move, uh, let's see, this one down right here. Okay, it's now time to create our surface body. We select our sketch. Under modeling, select sketch. And we'll go in the create, or no, we'll go into concept, then surface from sketches. It's asking us if uh, the surface that's selected is the one that we want. Yes, so click Apply. And now we'll click Generate. And that's it for our geometry. Let's now save our project and close the design modeler.